Step into the enchanting world of Disney with a classic that has stood the test of time, the magical world of Disney. This 1954 TV series has entertained generations with its timeless tales. From heartwarming adventures to laughter-inducing escapades, there's something for everyone. As you explore the various roles in the series, you can't help but wonder which one was your favorite. The diverse characters bring the magic to life, making it a journey worth reminiscing. What makes this TV series a lasting symbol of the industry? Perhaps it's the enduring qualities that continue to captivate audiences. The blend of humor, shock, and poignant moments keeps viewers hooked. And speaking of hooks, keep watching. There are plenty of funny, shocking, and sad facts waiting to unfold. Now we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the magical world of Disney? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your experiences add another layer to the enchantment. So, whether you're reliving your favorite moments or discovering the magic for the first time, the magical world of Disney remains a timeless journey through the realms of joy, laughter, and wonder. What role stole your heart? What makes this series endure? Share your tales in the comments, we'd love to hear from you. In the late 50s to the late 60s, The Magical World of Disney, a groundbreaking TV series, showcased family variety programming. Hosted by Walt Disney himself, each episode kicked off with him singing When You Wish Upon a Star, creating a weekly experience for all viewers. An interesting point is that the series essentially promoted the Disneyland theme park. The start of each episode placed the week's story within one of Disneyland's four lands. However, this tie-in could be seen as a minor drawback. Even today, the magical world of Disney continues to entertain on the Disney Channel. Walt Disney's hosting remains charming, fostering a sense of familial connection for many. The shows not only offered entertainment, but also explored the upcoming theme park and the behind-the-scenes aspects of movie production. In summary, the magical world of Disney, with its lasting appeal, stands out as the original and premier family variety show, providing a mix of entertainment and promotional elements that marked a significant era in television history. In 1954, Walt Disney strategically created a TV series to secure funding for Disneyland. He partnered with the ABC Network, which agreed to finance the park in exchange for the production of the TV series. This collaboration led to the birth of the magical world of Disney. As part of the deal, ABC gained a minority ownership stake in Disneyland. Interestingly, this financial arrangement changed later when the Walt Disney Company acquired ABC in the 1990s. What makes this series stand out is its lasting impact globally. Some segments created for the magical world of Disney were repackaged and released as shorts in international markets. This move not only expanded Disney's reach, but also showcased the series' adaptability and popularity across diverse audiences. The series has a significant place in television history due to its longevity. It was broadcast under five different titles and appeared on all three major TV networks at the time, making it the longest-running weekly primetime network show. While Hallmark Hall of Fame has a longer total duration, it hasn't been a weekly show for over four decades. Since its inception in the 1950s, the magical world of Disney has evolved to adapt to the changing TV landscape. Its endurance is a result of its unique mix of entertainment and promotional elements. Hosted by Walt Disney himself, the show entertained viewers with family variety programming and served as a promotional platform for Disneyland. Each episode began with Disney singing When You Wish Upon a Star, creating a sense of familial connection that still resonates today. From the late 50s to the late 60s, the series not only showcased entertainment, but also explored behind-the-scenes aspects of movie production and the upcoming Disneyland theme park. Despite the tie-in between the series and the theme park being considered a minor drawback, it contributed to the show's lasting appeal. In summary, the magical world of Disney remains a pivotal piece of TV history. Its global impact, extensive run, and unique blend of entertainment and promotion make it a cornerstone in family-oriented programming. The journey through joy, laughter, and wonder continues to captivate audiences, making it a timeless classic. Walt Disney's final remarks aired in a salute to Alaska in April 1967, five months after his passing. Despite his absence, the show continued, becoming a staple in American households. NBC extended its run until 1976, making Disney the only Hollywood studio consistently profiting from feature films during this era. 
Ralph Helfer, an exotic animal trainer, played a crucial role by providing animals for Disney's movies and TV productions. This collaboration added a unique touch to the episodes, showcasing a diverse array of creatures that fascinated audiences. Beyond the engaging animal encounters, the show served as a source of entertainment and promotion. Walt Disney's charismatic hosting, marked by the familiar opening song, When You Wish Upon a Star, created a familial connection for viewers. The series, while promoting Disneyland, maintained its entertainment value, offering a mix of family variety programming and behind-the-scenes glimpses into movie production. In its strategic inception in 1954, the show played a pivotal role in securing funding for Disneyland. The collaboration with ABC, which gained a minority ownership stake in Disneyland, laid the groundwork for its enduring impact. The show's adaptability and international appeal resulted in some segments being repackaged as shorts for global audiences, expanding Disney's reach. The show's longevity showcases its ability to evolve with the changing television landscape. A continuous presence across all three major TV networks at the time, it holds the title of the longest-running weekly primetime network show, demonstrating its resilience. In summary, from its strategic beginnings in 1954 to its lasting legacy, the show remains a cornerstone in family-oriented programming. Beyond entertainment, it served as a promotional platform, contributing to the financial success of Disneyland and the studio. Walt Disney's last words on the show echo the sentiments of a bygone era, reminding us of the lasting influence of this television classic. In the late 70s, the magical world of Disney faced challenges in its long-standing partnership with NBC as ratings declined. This prompted a format change, with NBC pushing for a new look, featuring a disco theme song and an elaborate opening sequence. Despite these efforts, the decline persisted, leading to cancellation in 1981. CBS took over, incorporating state-of-the-art computer graphics in the opening sequence, but the show ended in 1983, coinciding with the emergence of the Disney Channel. Moving to ABC in 1986, the series saw a revival before shifting to NBC in 1988. A 36-season run on network television concluded in 1990. A resurgence occurred in 1997, when ABC reintroduced the show as the wonderful world of Disney. The series navigated various networks and visual makeovers, highlighting its adaptability and lasting presence. During the ABC era, all episodes were filmed in color, although they aired in black and white, predating the network shift to color broadcasting in the mid-60s. The show embraced different titles during this period, aligning with weekly subcategories like Fantasyland, Frontierland, Adventureland, or Tomorrowland. Upon moving to NBC in 1961, these subtitles were discarded, Notably, many ABC episodes re-aired on NBC in color, setting a precedent that endured through subsequent releases on the Disney Channel in theaters and on home video. Mad Magazine added a touch of humor to the show's legacy, playfully spoofing it as Walt Disney presents Disneyland. This light-hearted nod in popular culture reflects its widespread recognition. In essence, the magical world of Disney, with its twists and network allegiance, visual transformations, and playful parodies, remains a resilient and evolving presence in television, leaving a lasting impact on family-oriented programming. The show's ability to adapt and captivate audiences, coupled with its extensive history, contributes to its enduring influence in the world of entertainment.